as senators. There is nothing new that we are doing. At 78 years of age, Gigi Karaoke has been the oldest serving senator. Karaoke's political experience stretches to the pre-colonial era when he joined politics in 1959 at the age of 21. Initial reports indicate the senator had been ailing since early this year after injuring his hip bone while working out. Karaoke served as the member of parliament for Laikipia West for 25 years, including in the first parliament of 1963. He was also nominated MP for five years between 1993 and 1997 before recapturing his Laikipia West parliamentary seat in 2002, bringing his total years in the National Assembly to 30 years. He also served as a cabinet minister in different dockets in the administrations of founding President Mze Jomo Kenyatta and his successor Daniel Moy. President Uhuru Kenyatta has mourned the veteran politician, saying as a young leader during independence, he played a key role in resolving land conflicts and the resettlement of squatters, particularly in Laikipia, as well as standing for the rights of all Kenyans against those in authority. Opposition leader Raila Odinga has also hailed the fallen politician for his long experience, saying, quote, he is part and parcel of the progress the country has made. His death is a loss to the entire nation and particularly to his people of Laikipia County. End of quote. Karaoke was not defending his Laikipia Senate seat in the August general election after he lost in the Jubilee primaries to John Kenua. We referred to him as Senator number one, a man for whom we had the greatest respect. He was very, very respected and venerated, a man of great wisdom, a man of great character, a man of great faith actually. At his home in Rumuruti, Laikipia County, residents were still coming to terms with the demise of the long-serving legislator. <laughs> the senator became the oldest candidate in the country to graduate with a doctoral degree at the age of 77 after graduating with a PhD in international relations from the University of Nairobi in 2015. Uh, uh, because a lot have been said. Sam Kitoko, Citizen, Weekend.